Hello everyone. So in this video, we will find the algebraic expression for the perimeter and area of this rectangle. So the first thing we'll work on is the perimeter. Let's start by understanding what is perimeter. So I'll write the definition on the board. Perimeter is the sum of all outer sides of a 2D shape. Now in this rectangle, the outer sides are these four sides here. And we know that in a rectangle, opposite sides are equal in length. So this side length here is equal to x and this side here is equal to y because in a rectangle, opposite sides are equal in length. We can calculate the perimeter of this rectangle. So we start by writing the equation for perimeter. So we have to add up the lengths of all of these four sides. So we do x plus y plus x plus y. So these are the four side lengths of this rectangle. Now we have to simplify this expression. Now we have to identify like terms in this expression. So x and x are like terms. y and y are like terms. So we can combine these terms. The first step here we can do is to gather these like terms. Gathering like term means writing them together next to each other. So it will be x plus x plus y plus y. So we have written the x terms together and the y terms together. Now we can combine these x terms. Now when we add terms with variables, we have to add their coefficients. Now the coefficient of x is an invisible one. We don't write 1 as a coefficient. Other x term also has an invisible one as the coefficient. So in order to add these two terms, we have to add their coefficients and then write the variable with that sum. So we know 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So the sum of these th uh, two terms is 2x. And now we do the same thing for the y terms. So their coefficients are the invisible ones. So we do 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 and we write y with the 2. So this is the expression for the perimeter of this rectangle. And now we can calculate the area. Now the area of a 2D shape can be described as the amount of space taken by this 2D shape along a surface. So because it's a flat shape, so that's why we just have to uh, calculate how much space is enclosed by this rectangle. And for that, we'll have to use the formula for area of a rectangle. So I'll write the expression on the board. So for area, we can use the variable A. Formula for area of a rectangle is length times width. And we know that for this rectangle, the length is x and the width is y. So this dimension is the length and that's the width. Now in algebra, when we multiply two variables, we write them next to each other. So the expression for area of this rectangle is x, y. So this should be the final answer for the area of this rectangle. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.